This equipment right here is to demonstrate the change in energy, the change in kinetic energy, the change in GPE or potential energy into kinetic energy and then once again back to gravitational energy. Now here I have this steel metal rod here. If I put this rod over here, if I latch it over there, then it's going to travel in this direction and and will finally land here in this hole. So, let's try that. You can see that it has landed in the, the hole. And so this means, essentially what is happening here is that once the ball has been released from this latch, the, we can see that it has gravitational energy, uh, potential energy in, initially, and then when we release it, it's going to hold down, it's going to decrease in GPE, but while it's decreasing in GPE, it's going to gain in kinetic energy, and so it's going to gain kinetic energy, enough kinetic energy to move up to here. You see the circle ring, it's going to go around and go here, because we have enough kinetic energy. But what if we do not have enough kinetic energy? For example, if we don't drop this ball at this height, but if we drop the ball at this height, it is most likely that it's not going to reach inside the ball. Let's try that. As you can see, the ball has not reached there because it hasn't had enough GPE to convert it into kinetic energy. So we have to use it in the original displacement or the original height at which the GPE can be converted into kinetic energy, enough kinetic energy so that it can go inside this hole. So this is a really very, very cool experiment.